Dean Dave's business partner and inform that Dave would, if Dave was up here, he would uh, spend the week preparing his speech. <laughs> <laughs> and after I after I prepared my speech, I, I get the call from Callie and she said we'd uh, appreciate it if you kept the time down a little bit. So, <laughs> true keeping with Craig. <laughs> I got a few notes here. <laughs>
came to work and uh, agreed to do that. And after a couple of weeks, I walked in by his office and he was sitting there contemplating things. And I said, Dave, what do you think? And he said, you know, I'm ready to do this if you are. So, all right, Dave, let's, uh, let's you write down on a piece of paper what you're willing to pay for half of this company. And I'll write down on a piece of paper what I'm willing to take for half of this company. And let's meet for breakfast. And we met for breakfast the next morning. And we flipped over our papers. It was the same number. And um, we haven't missed a beat since. It was, it, it was meant to be. Um, Whitey and, 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 and Paul and the other guys have talked to talked about knowing Dave through uh, parties and fun times on the dock and everything. And I had a few of those with Dave, but uh, Dave and I had this, this really great working relationship. And after Dave came to the office and we were starting to hire up people, he said, you know, we ought to do, we ought to do this personality test. And I said, well, I don't believe in those palm readers, but uh, you know, I'll go along with it. So we got, we gave it to Danny and Donna, and Dave and I took this test, and uh, the guy came in to explain the results of the test, and he looked at me and he said, you're married to my wife. Let me guess, if you say this, she says that. If you do this, she reacts like that. I mean, right down the line. And I said, so I started to believe that maybe he had something here. And then he turned to Dave and he said, let's talk about Danny. And he said, uh, Danny and Craig Oberlay, they are exactly alike. He said, so we don't need to talk about Danny, let's just talk about Craig, because we'll be talking about Danny. And he said, and he turned to Dave and he said, uh, what we have here is, I've never seen this before, but two people that are 180 degrees out. Not 179, not 181. You guys are exactly 180 degrees different. And he said, and that's what makes a great partnership. And that's what created a great marriage for Dave. Dave used to say that if um, Danny and I were running the company, we'd have it given away in a year. <laughs> People um, go through life and they leave legacies and examples. And I, um, I always look to Dave as, as a leader, and, and he could be a good follower, but he was a great leader. And he had, he had many titles that, he, that I feel like he left a great legacy. When I, when I first hired Dave, I didn't know how that guy ever stayed married. Going fishing and hunting and he, he never was, he was never done. But when he had children, he turned into an exemplary husband and a, and a great father. He talked about his kids all the time. We got together as, as families and, and had a great time with his kids and our kids. Um, we tell the story one time about um, being out on the boat and Donna was was pregnant with Bradley and Danny was bragging about not having to go through the summer being pregnant and, and can't believe that Donna was pregnant and uh, got home the next day she called Donna and she said you're not going to believe this but I'm going to have a wonderful daughter <laughs> and, uh, and and so they they, they bonded over being pregnant at the same time and, and only like women can do. 
as a friend, Dave, Dave has never met somebody that he didn't become a friend with. He was a great friend, always had your back. Um, they say the only thing that you can take to your grave is your secrets. So when I, uh, the next work day after Dave passed, I went into his office to make sure he didn't have any kind of a diary or anything. And I assure you that, because uh, I was worried that some of those secrets that we have <laughs> that need to go to the grave <laughs> may have been written down somewhere. I assure some of you guys out there in the audience <laughs> He didn't write them down. <laughs> Rest easy. Dave, uh, Dave was a great Christian. And by that I mean there's a lot of people who walk around talking the talk, but they don't really live that life. Dave walked the walk. He was a great Christian. And Dave and I had a had a saying to support each other that we got your back. And uh, the last night I visited him in the hospital, I held his hand and I said, Dave, I got your back. And he opened his eyes and he squeezed my hand twice. Dave, I've got your back. Rest in peace, my friend.